Hello and welcome to another video tutorial on how to use Perfectly Clear Lab. Today we will discuss how to create a preset. As we discussed in the first tutorial, Perfectly Clear Lab uses channels to process photos. Channels are made of input folders and output folders, workflow instructions and presets. We will focus on the presets in this video. First, let's open Perfectly Clear Lab and go to the Systems menu and there select preset. You will see vivid details and that is the default preset that appears under Perfectly Clear Lab. A preset is a combination of the corrections available in Perfectly Clear Lab. All these corrections are adjustable by you, the user, to meet your specific needs. Notice that some boxes next to the corrections have been checked. Those are the corrections that the vivid details preset will apply automatically. Checking on the checkbox will enable or disable the corrections. Some corrections have more information including a value. For example, depth contains a slider bar with a value of 90 and a box that contains two options, high definition and high contrast. Before we proceed, let me tell you that the best way to create and visualize presets is by using perfectly clear desktop and we strongly recommend you do so. This is a separate software that is included free with Perfectly Clear Lab and will allow you to make adjustments to your presets and see the effect on the, on the images side by side. The corrections are the same in both products and you can see them here. It is really easy to use and when you create a preset it is automatically shared with Perfectly Clear Lab. There is a separate video where we will show you how to adjust presets and how to use the Perfectly Clear desktop software. Now let's review the rest of the preset options in Perfectly Clear Lab. When I press on the down arrow next to the preset box, I can see a list of presets available. System presets are the presets that come included with the software and are starting points for you to use to create the corrections you desire. User presets, on the other hand, are the list of presets that you have created. As you can see, I have an extended list of presets for this particular demo. So let me show you how you create a preset. First you create your starting point. And I selected traditional as my starting point because I consider that it is closer to the quality I want to deliver in my operations. Uh, this is up to you. However, I want to lower my contrast so I'm going to move my slider down to 50. And I also want to enable perfectly clear smooth. I don't want to change my setting on perfectly clear smooth because I really want to uh, select uh, or test the uh, setting that is included right there. So I am done with the changes I want to make so I want to save this new preset. I come to the box next to the preset box, press on the new and type the name of the preset that I want to use. In this case I'm going to type test 10 and I'm going to add a description that says Raphael's perfect preset and now I save it. Now I have test 10 saved and it's part of the long list of presets that I have created. So now I can close that and anytime that I want to check on my preset I come to system preset and I use the particular preset that I desire. In this case I want to ask use test 10 and that's my preset which has contrast at 50 and my perfectly clear smooth at 35. However, you cannot see the results from the preset until you run perfectly clear lab with images. That is the reason why we strongly recommend you use perfectly clear desktop to create and adjust your presets. The new preset is listed at the end of the list of presets that I have and that can be uh, retrieved anytime you want to create a new channel which is going to be the uh, next video that we will be recommending you listen to. The presets created in lab are automatically updated in the desktop and vice versa. So you're always current on both the software products. Read more about this feature in the manual. Now you're ready to use the new preset on a current channel. So you can create a channel by using any preset you have created already in your perfectly clear lab. I will cover how to create a channel in a separate video. This concludes the video on how to create a new preset for Perfectly Clear Lab. 
please read the manual for more detailed information. We have some additional videos that will expand on the features of Perfectly Clear Lab. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and please let us know if you have any questions or comments. You can contact us at info at Have a great day.